Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today I'm just going down to my lockup. Sales are slow. I need to get some stuff. I need to get listing. So I'm going to grab the other couple of bags of Lego that are down there because I'm betting there's more uh, Lego minifigs in those bags. So uh, I'm going to get those uh, that Lego, get those minifigs out of there. Nice, easy stuff to list. Hopefully there's about 10 to 20 of them. Get them on. I'm going to grab another couple of boxes of just miscellaneous stuff and then uh, get them on as well over the next day or two and hopefully that'll pick up sales a bit but february has been slow this year last year and was i reselling the year before that no i wasn't we uh yeah i was last year and the year before that it's crazy how fast time goes i, I, I didn't even realize i've been reselling for that long but actually this is my third february reselling now or maybe yeah third february reselling so um yeah last year and the year before that february february was fine but uh, yeah, this year it's been really quite slow, so um, I don't know, I mean a lot of people have been saying it's slow though, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to get down to my lockup, also I've got a lot of other work to do, like admin work to do, to do with uh, YouTube and things like that, because what I want to do is I want to clean up my description, so I have a lot of affiliate links in my description and things like that, and I've not looked at them, I've not tested them out for ages, I don't even know whether they're working or not. So what I'm trying to do today as well is clean up that description and uh, look for all those affiliate links to check if any of them are still working. And then the ones that are I deem suitable to stay, they can stay. And then the ones that aren't working or whatever, I will replace the different ones. So be sure to check down in the description of this video for uh, some new added features in the description box. I also want to put down there my uh, blog on Steemit as well. So be sure to, as I say, check down below for a few different uh, new things in the description box. With that being said, we'll get on with the video. Right, so here we are at the lockup. Um, and I'm just going to be picking like a kid in a candy store. Uh, a box or two off these shelving, uh, shelving units, and uh, yeah, we'll see what I get. And then when I get home, I'm actually going to pick out one of the boxes that I got from my auction haul this week, um, so that then I can do some sort of haul video with that, because I, I know I've not even showed you that haul. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. I'll pick out one of the boxes now from that auction haul, and then we can go through that as a, like a little mystery unboxing uh, haul in this video. And... Um, I'm going to take the Lego as well because um, I think there's going to be plenty of minifigs in there and they're going to be easy to list and they're going to be, uh, oh sorry the lighting's gone a bit there, oh that's not very good, there we go, um, and they're going to be quite desirable because obviously they're Lego and toys and they're going to go quite quick so definitely want to put some uh, Lego minifigs on um, and I quite like the look of the studio pottery up there so I might, that might be the box I might choose to, to show you in a bit but I'm not sure. Well, I was saying that, I can see Viners there, and I really want to take this now, but I don't know. I don't know. This is this is a problem. This is like first world problems. Which box should you start with? The answer: just start with any old one. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so I'll do that now. Get a couple of boxes in the car. Get some listings on. I need to get motivated. I need to get something on. So uh, yeah. With that being said. Uh, I'll see you when I get home and we will do a little bit of a haul video from one of these boxes. So guys, I'm just going to pick out a few bit, bits and bobs from the haul. Um, and yeah, without further ado, I'll get on with it. I don't want this video to be like a 20, 25 minute video or whatever. So I just wanted to pick out a few little bits from this box. Oh, I'll do a quick thumbnail like this. That'll do. And uh, yeah, we shall get on with it. So, um... Let's choose an item. Uh, so we'll go for this one here. So this is a nice little like, uh, well I say little, it's quite big actually. If the box will actually not fall off. Um, so it's like a shell design, like a seashell design glass bowl. Quite cool, quite large as well. Um, and very heavy actually. And it's by Royal Copenhagen. You can see there, Royal Copenhagen. This is the original box because I can see that that design there looks pretty similar to the one in the box. So, you know, it's an educated guess, but I think this would be the, the original box. Um, 
So yeah, I've seen these on for like 40 quid, that sort of range, but only one sold, and that was international, so it sold for about 30 quid plus postage, so I don't know. Um, I might shoot a bit lower than everyone else, and then if someone comes in, you know, comes into the market, searches on eBay, who's wanting one of these, they may choose mine because I'm the lowest price. Um, I just don't think these are that in demand, uh, going off the results I've seen, so... Um, it might be best to actually undercut a few people and then obviously get mine to sell that way rather than in some cases I might, you know, be the highest priced person and just be happy to wait. But with this item it might be more um, beneficial for me to actually come in as the lowest priced person. So, don't know on that one but it's still quite nice. Might shoot for 30, something like that because everyone else is coming in for like 40 so I might be like 30, 35. Um, but yeah, so it's quite nice. And I've got a box, which is always a bonus. Um, I've got this World Worcester oven to tableware. Nothing special, really. It's a forget-me-not pattern. Uh, I'll just quickly get it out and show you. It's that pattern there. Um, fine oven uh, china. So, yeah, I don't think there's going to be much money in this. 10, 15 quid at most, really. So, uh, yeah, that one. It's nice because it's boxed, though, but it's just... It's just nothing special, you know, there's better Royal Worcester stuff, of course, so, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, what else have I got to show you? Um, I've got some Viners, this is Stable, now I'm assuming, I've never had Stable from Viners before, but I'm assuming that's, the, that, that's like a pattern. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little box set, I've got some spoons in here. These are really, really lovely, actually. Uh, you know, they're very simple, they're very... You could even say they're quite modern, actually. Um, I'll try and get one out, if I can. There we go. So, they're quite, very, very simplistic design here on here. It's, it's kind of like a tree trunk, almost, with very, very thin lines. But they're quite sleek, they're quite modern. And uh, I could even see, like, a younger person buying these, because they're not, like... They're not like real. They don't look old, or they don't look like they're from the fifties or sixties or something like that. They look quite modern. So um, I could see this appealing even to the slightly slightly younger audience. Um, but yeah, they're quite nice. They are. I've not. I've seen one on complete and sold. Now this isn't this set. I've seen um, one spoon of this same pattern go for seven ninety nine. So. I'd, I don't know, I mean, I only did a very quick look, just for the purposes of this video now, but maybe get 20 quid for the 6, something like that, maybe even a little bit more, but yeah, Viners is certainly worth looking out for, I've done well with Viners cutlery in the past, so it's a good little mate to look out for, um, so I'll put them down there, um, I'll just very, very quickly show you these other Viners stuff as well, we've got the uh, same pattern, this stable uh, one, but unfortunately it's missing a, a, a fork, which is going to harm it a little bit, but this is a nice little um, set, and as you can see, if I get one of these out, actually, you can see these are these are super thin. See how thin they are, and they've got this like little wig down. It does look quite modern, to be fair. I don't. I, it do. It looks quite. To me, it does look quite modern, which is cool. But um, no, they're they're quite nice. It's just a shame that there's missing a fork. I'll see if I can see it in the box. I don't think it was in there though. Um, I got. Um, one sec, put that there, and then move that out of the way for you. Um, I got, again, Viner's Stable, I'm not going to spend much time on this, so, uh, just same things, but just different, obviously different spoons there, and we've got a random spoon with a hole in it, I don't know what that's for, but, um, it's like a spork type thing, you know, a spoon and a fork, I don't know what it's for, maybe it's for some sort of dessert, um, so yeah, that's that. And then I got a few cameras, but I'm only going to show you this one because they're, they're nothing amazing. Now I've not done research on these, so when I say they're nothing amazing, they could be something amazing, but I've not done any research, so I, I don't know. But going off the brand, you know, the black Pentax isn't like the one of the top brands or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, certainly there can be some obscure ones from maybe even lesser brands that go for really good money. So you you can't ever. You can't ever write anything off without doing your research, so just be, be, be aware that I'm not sure because I've not done my research on this one, but it's a uh, SBO 115G, um, you never know, this could be like a Mew 2, the Olympus Mew 2 and it's worth a fortune, so yeah, 
there's that one. Anyway, I'll leave that there for the whole portion of this video because I know we're getting on time wise. And uh, I'm going to go through that Lego and I might just add on to the end of this video just to make it a bit more of a, a well rounded video. Uh, a few bits of the minifigures I find from that Lego. So yeah, I'll see you in the next section guys. See you in a minute. So I've just been on a quick sort through the Lego. Uh, these are the figures that I've pulled out so far. I don't know them all by name. I'm not going to go through them all individually. But I will go through a few of them. So we've got Barry Sophie there from the Clone Wars. Um, we've got some a uh, Death Watch Mandalorian trooper there with the leader of Death Watch, but I forgot what he's called. That's from the Clone Wars, by the way. Uh, we've got Darth Maul. I don't know whether that's his right head. Uh, sorry, I'll just focus that in. If it'll focus in. Don't know whether that's his right head or not, uh, but I've got another head there. We've got loads of droids. We've got Obi-Wan. We've got um, Padme. We've got a uh, droid there. We've got some sort, I think that's a clone uh, clone trooper sergeant. Uh, we've got some pilots here. We've got a Jedi there. Don't know his name. Uh, we've got Geonosian Zombie. We've got a Tonton, I think they're called. We've got a uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper, I think, there. Um, we've got, well, I'll just go around here, actually. We've got a uh, Elite Clone Trooper. We've got two versions of Mace Windu, two versions of Anakin Skywalker, we've got a Geonosian Soldier, we've got Palpatine, we've got, lo again, loads more droids, we've got a Bounty Hunter, I think, I can't remember who she is, but I think she's a Bounty, bounty Hunter as well, although I need to find a hairpiece. Got this guy down here, don't think that's his, like, head, I think that's, like, Darth Vader's head or something for one of, one of his figures, um, I'm not sure, but yeah, we've got loads of different figures. I don't know whether that's just like a random uh, Gungan soldier or whether that's actually Jar Jar, but I think it's just a random soldier. Oh, and we've got another Jedi there, but I forgot his name. Um, but yeah, pretty cool so far. Pulled out plenty, plenty to list, plenty to do, which is what I wanted for today. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to get my head down. I'm going to get some work done. I'm sorry that I can't do uh, more of a video today. But I at least wanted to do something, get something out there on YouTube for you. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get my head down and get working, I think. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget, as always, give it a big thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.